Hey there. Now, SEO specialists need to understand the competitive landscape, be aware of direct and potential competitors, and analyze their ranking dynamics. Whether you start a new SEO project or continue to work on an existing one, monitoring your competitors is a crucial SEO task. Keeping tabs on your competitors could be a challenge, but not with the right tools at hand. In this video, we'll dissect SE Rankings My Competitor tool to find out how it can help you keep track of your competitors. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the tool to see what it's all about. Now, let's imagine you're starting a new SEO project. The first thing you need to do is to identify your competitors, right? To do this, go to the Visibility Rating tab. Before we move on, let's define search visibility. Search visibility is the share of impressions a website gets in a given search engine for a search query or a group of queries. In other words, it indicates the potential of a website to get noticed by users in the organic search results for keywords you'd like to analyze. The higher your visibility, the more traffic you can potentially get. Now, let me explain how SE Ranking creates the visibility rating. So to launch a new project in SE Ranking, you need to add a list of your target keywords for position tracking. SE Ranking then analyzes these keywords and compiles a search visibility report. The more keywords you add, the more accurate the data you get. Once the search visibility report is completed, you'll see a list of all domains that rank for your target keywords and their visibility scores. In other words, meet and greet your competitors. Okay, the visibility rating section gives you a general overview of your competitive landscape. You can run through the results and compare visibility score, traffic forecast, number of keywords, backlinks, and referring domains. The higher the score for a website, the more likely it's a direct organic competitor. This way you can identify big players in your niche as well as direct and partial competitors and new contenders with the potential to become your rivals in the future. You can tag them accordingly and tags will automatically transfer to other SE ranking tools. Furthermore, you can check the visibility rating in different search engines and locations and see how the results change over time. Use the visibility report to monitor your competitors, including their keywords, referring domains for backlinks, and try to focus on domains with similar metrics as yours. This way you'll be able to accurately adapt your SEO strategy. Now for a pro tip, make sure to group your keywords before starting the visibility research. Grouping keywords helps get more accurate results for different clusters or topics. This way you'll be able to identify competitors not only for your site itself, but also for particular pages. For example, if you have an e-commerce site with a blog section, competitors for product pages and blog posts may differ. So it makes sense to find competitors according to your page types. By the way, don't hesitate to use SE Rankings Keyword Grouper to cluster your target keywords. Now that you're aware of potential competitors, you might want to monitor the SERPs for your most valuable keywords. So let's switch to the SERP Competitors tab. Here, you can check the top 100 results for attract keywords. This way, you can analyze the competitive landscape and identify main competitors for each keyword. Click on any keyword from the drop down list to see the top 100 search results. Then click on any domain, and the tool will highlight the changes in its ranking positions over time. This way you will find out if any domains have outranked you and then you can analyze why this has happened. You can also find new sites that can potentially become competitors. In SERP competitors, you can compare websites against key quality metrics for exact dates, as well as for more extended periods of time, say a week or a month to see how they have changed over time. 
Once you've identified your main competitors, go ahead and start monitoring them. So let's go to the added competitors tab. Now, depending on your subscription plan, you can add up to 20 competitor websites and track their search rankings for the same keywords you're targeting in your project. So under the overall tab, rankings data is grouped by search engines and locations and the ranking positions for each keyword are displayed in comparison with the added competitors. So under the detail tab, you'll find a list of your key competitors. Here, you get a more focused view of your competitors' performance. So monitor their average ranking positions, visibility score, traffic forecasts, the total number of keywords, backlinks, and referring domains. Click on the rankings button to get detailed information on the rankings positions of each separate competitor. If competitors' rankings positions are growing steadily, you should learn from their success. So make sure you use these valuable insights in your own SEO strategy. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to get updates about our new SEO videos. See you next time.